Hey guys, welcome back to Income Stream Surfers. I'm going to show you the secrets of doing keyword research for an entire website in under five minutes. So, first of all, you need your website open. In the last video, which um, this whole uh, series will just be clickable, so if you watch each video to the end, the next video will be the next video in the list. So in the last video, I showed you how to create parent pages as categories and put them on the top as a header. And now what we're going to do is just paste them into a um, Google document, sorry, not Google document, a Google sheet. And then we're going to go on something called keyword tool IO. Okay. So this is the first thing in terms of content I would do for any website. The first thing you want to do is answer the important questions for your website. So just type in the niche here and then press this button here and then copy them to clipboard. And then all you have to do is paste them and look at that beautiful. There are 126 potential articles that you have after about one minute. So all you need to do is copy each heading here. Uh, and if it's something specific, like YouTube growth, it's better to put um, a long tail keyword because if you're going to just put YouTube, a lot of the results are obviously going to be people who are looking for a specific video. So just be careful with that. So Etsy is a great one where it's pretty open and um, all of these questions we can pretty much guarantee it will be good SEO questions to answer. Okay. And then I'll just finish this quickly. Okay, so this is another quite a difficult one as well. So I have design techniques, so way to create designs, but I don't really know what to s what people would search for, honestly. So maybe a sticker design would probably be one of the best ones, I guess. Let's go with sticker design. So how do I design my own stickers is a great example. So we'll stick that on design techniques, but yeah, I would definitely... Another thing you can do is you can add more... Um, keywords underneath okay so you can use a different thing like for example shirt design and then if I copy and paste this again then we have more keywords but for the same parent page okay and you can do this as many times as you want okay um, and then let's just say that I finished the other ones let me just show you a few more important steps that we have to go through so I would also use answer the public for your main categories you can only do one a day although maybe it works if you use um, incognito mode so I'm just going to type in Redbubble here and this will give us some more questions that maybe the other one doesn't pick up so definitely make sure that you um, get some of these keywords as well let's see if we can just paste them here this probably won't work it doesn't work that's fine. You can put them in. You can um, separate them with uh, commas, which should help. Okay, so you can see that this is pretty much a very, very quick content plan. Okay, there are other things that you may want to do. So if you want to see the volume of a keyword, you can go on Google and type in Ahrefs keyword generator, and then do not log in. Just click on the first option, and this is a free keyword generator where we can check if anyone is actually uh, searching. As you can see, 250 people every month search this. So I would say this was definitely a good keyword to go for. If you want to, if you're not using Jarvis and you don't want to write thousands of articles, okay, then you should make sure that the article is worth writing first, okay? And then you can get your information from something like Reddit. I showed this in a previous video, this exact example. So let's just uh, choose another one. Uh, stickers dishwasher safe. I think that's a really, really good keyword. Uh, so we searched that. And let's see how many it has on um, Ahrefs. I don't want to be in Tongo. Oh, my God. Wait. Okay. 40 a, 40 a month. Again, I would say that was definitely worth making. You may not think that it is worth making, but if you're just going to write a very quick article yourself, it definitely is worth writing. And then if you don't want to write it yourself, you can, as I keep talking about in this series, you can use Jarvis. So this is Jarvis boss mode. It makes this process a million times better. All you have to do, this is an, I keep showing you different methods every single time. Um, so first thing we do is copy and paste this into the 
into Jarvis and then we find the answer from before and we put it here and this time instead of um, instead of putting the brief here and then writing the content I'm actually going to show you a different method which is rewrite the content above and then just uh, highlight it and press control uh, enter and Jarvis should give us some nice content that's not what I wanted at all thank you Jarvis write about what uh, if Redbubble stickers are dishwasher so you sometimes have to play around with Jarvis just to make sure that it, it understands exactly what you're looking for okay some are not the best way to make sure to do is check the packaging before you put them in the dishwasher I'm gonna press ctrl J here just to see if I can get a little bit more content out of Jarvis satisfactory uh, content uh, check whether they are dishwasher safe by okay so dishwasher safe stickers will also say dishwasher safe or washable and then you can feel free to blah 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 make sure you check the packaging okay so that should do it you can read this for yourselves if you want but this is almost definitely good enough for me and this is the process if you are not writing yourself if you're using Jarvis we you can check it if you really want I'm mainly going for traffic and I'm just kind of doing an experiment so I'm not going to be checking it in great detail and I also I think that would be an interesting part of the experiment whether I can rank with AI, AI content that is hardly being checked one other thing I might do if I'm going to be doing this is potentially getting Grammarly Premium because it basically it will take these sentences and just write them uh, automatically a bit better. Uh, people recommend it, so I'll, I'll definitely check it out. I'll see if it's worth it, and I'll probably get the free trial of Grammarly Premium to see if to see if it works. Okay, so the last thing you should do if you want to add a bit more content, okay, is you should Google the keyword and see if there's anything interesting here okay that um, we can add to the article this is definitely worth doing if you're wanting to 100% make sure that you're ranking okay this is probably something I'm gonna do each time and if I can find a way to automate this that would be really really sick because that would help a lot for sure um, but yeah Another thing you can do is you can interlink uh, previous articles. So I wrote an article about whether they are waterproof. So I would interlink this, but I think I'm going to try and do that automatically after I've written all of the content. You want to aim for about 500 words. So definitely Google the keyword, grab some of these people also ask, and maybe click these a couple of times to get you know some different answers and just let Jarvis do its thing and you will rank, I'm 100% sure. Okay, I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out, guys.